I first got to know uh, Kirsty in, in government when she was president of Estonia and the Three Cs, and really uh, was a great champion for us, a great partner for us in developing the trust doctrine and building the Clean Network Alliance of Democracies. So now I'm honored to uh, serve with you as co-chairs of the Global Tech Security Commission, which the char we've been chartered to develop the Global Tech Security Strategy uh, for the free world. We we've got about 50 commissioners representing 15 countries, 12 uh, tech sectors. And, and Kirstie, one of the things that uh, you said when you came on board was we must win, we have to win. Um, so tell us a little bit about that. And, and also, what are the things that the Global Tech Security Commission can do to really advance that cause? Thank you, indeed. Uh, we in Estonia have felt long time that we need to have a kind of common ground. It may be supported by various standards all over the world, but we have to have a common ground. Lithium matters, but data matters even more. And we must make sure that we control our data, that nobody's doing to our data what we do not know, and uh, which is therefore a grey area for us. Otherwise, we risk the free world risks to be taken over. And it's been very important to both you and me, I believe, and that's why we are part partnering in this great initiative is that we need to get the global free world act together to make sure that we will win. And the problem, of course, is that we do not know how many ways we have to win because, you know, the tech cycle is so short, the legal cycle is longer, political cycle can be tiresome in these conversations. But we know that new technologies are coming forward all the time. And the difference is that in Western world, we do not know where they happen. And the most, I mean, the biggest investment happens in private sector. Sector, so we need to onboard these technologies. Whereas China still invests big time and controls like in, like in developing the nuclear arms last century. China has similar level of control. They don't need to onboard anything. I believe we have therefore a richer ground to choose from, but we need to know how to do this thing. And also I think that the Starlink and Elon Musk example in Ukraine is a great demonstration that it's not only with China we need to discuss, but with our own big companies as well. 